Hey Booktube, how you guys doing? No, I do not want to update my computer. Unbelievable. Right when I start a video. Okay, today we are going to be talking about Master of Adventure, The Worlds of Edgar Rice Burroughs by Richard A. Lepoff. Lupoff. Look at that picture. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Um, this book um, is from 2005. Um, Bison Books, uh, University of Nebraska Press. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of amazing. Um, first off, if you haven't read any Edgar Rice Burroughs, obviously this book is not for you. Um, it's probably not something that you'll even want to look at. Um, because the majority of this book, it feels like the majority of this book, is um, summaries of everything he's ever written. So... Um, for me, it was cool because he would be talking about something and um, sometimes like I get confused with um, little story topics like <clears throat> um, a Fighting Man of Mars. Like I always forget what that's about and then like I'll go, oh yeah, yeah. And um, some of the Tarzan books, because there's so many, like, you'll you'll go, oh, yeah, I, I remember when he did this thing, but I can't remember exactly what book it's in. So that's cool that um, that does that. Um, so if there's stuff of his you haven't read, um, it's very spoilery, I guess. But... Um, let me just talk a little bit about like what's in here before I get too much in there. So this book was originally published in 65 and then again in 68. What's up with you? Why are you being like that? Looks like you got a fish hook in your mouth. What is that? Oh, you got some string tied around a tooth. That's kind of weird. Um, anyway. Uh, um, so then it wasn't published again until 2005. And in this um, 2005 edition, um, you have a foreword by Michael Moorcock, an introduction um, to the Bison Books edition. Um, and then you have a preface by Henry Hardy Hines. And then you have the original introduction. The other thing in here um, is this last chapter, 40 More Years of Adventure. Um, that's kind of like the author like looking back at everything that's happened since and um, where he sees um, the works of Edgar Rice Burroughs going um, from like 2005 on. Um, so that was really cool. The appendixes in here are great, too. Um, a checklist of Edgar Rice Burroughs books um, and a list of Edgar Rice Burroughs fanzines. Um, then acknowledgments of bibliography and an index. Now, I don't know. Um, again, this is 2005. But I don't know how many of these fanzines are still up and running. I think I should do a video. If that's something you guys want to know about... Um, some of the fanzines that I found from the 70s um, are really amazing. Like, the articles in there are just um, ridiculous. And I would love to do um, more stuff on that. So, um, please say yes, because I'll probably do it anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, there's quite a few um, fanzines that were still going <laughs> at least, um, when the publication of this book. Okay, 
I need you guys to not gag and throw up and do whatever else it is you guys are doing right now because it's kind of gross. Um, and then the number of books in the checklist is 75 um, books by Burroughs. So that's, that's a tasty list. Um, another thing that's in here is um, illustrations. Now, if you look in here, we have Frank Franzetta, um, Reed Crandall, um, a ton of the old pulp drawings. Let me see if I could just like flip to one. They're they're great. Um, I just saw one, and now I'm not going to be able to find it. Oh, here we go. So like stuff like that. That's from um, the Red Hawk, which is the. Moon made Moon Man, the Red Hawk. Um, another thing that's great about this book is that it uses um, notes from Burroughs's notebooks because he just, they were almost like production diaries. So every book that comes up, it'll tell you how long it took him to write it, what dates he wrote it in between, um, who he offered it to, who he sold it to, when it was published. Um, and even things like what was going on during the time in which he wrote that to make him like want to touch this topic or something. Um, and then also like, uh, what books like inspired him so like in the very beginning it goes on this like huge like um it basically takes everything that was in princess of mars and looks for books that came out before then that could have inspired him to do those things to write those things and um I seriously thought that I knew everything about that. Like I knew what he pulled from and um, what he took from what, but there was stuff that like there, there, the list of books I want to read now um, to kind of like beef up my, I guess, knowledge of um, sword and planet kind of things um is huge it even has this awesome um thing about uh what do you call it a uh like a feud between him and um oh gosh i'm gonna say his name wrong otis albert klein i don't think it's albert it's like aldebert or something um anyway oak the letters um like he would write a Tarzan book and then this guy would write a book that was just like Tarzan. Um, and then, so the legend has it, even though there's like really no proof of any of this legend has it that, um, there was so much kind of disdain, even though there's no proof of this. Um, that Klein started writing a Venus series and um, that's what made Burroughs go back to the well kind of to do the um, the Carson Venus um, series and uh, that just like tickled me to death man um, but another thing about that was that in the I guess like 20 years. Let me see here. Um, Princess of Mars, like the book, came out in 1917. And um, the first Carson book came out in 1934. Um, and I believe Princess of Mars actually came out in um, all story... I want to say like 1914 or something. So around then. So that's a big chunk. Um, and from like 1914 or whatever to 1935, did I say? 36? 34. Um, a lot of advancements in science had been made. So him wanting to go back and um, kind of talk a little bit more 
about some of the things that he talked about that worked and some of the things that he talked about that have kind of been found not to be working. Like he wanted to just come back to um, the science of um, everything he was doing like that. So that was just, it was just really cool. So anyway, if you like Edgar Rice Burroughs, like this book is amazing. Um, it As a writer, like this was so freaking inspiring that like the whole time I was reading it, all I wanted to do was put it down and start writing something. But I wanted to keep reading it. So I had this huge like crisis inside myself, um, wanting to finish the book, but also wanting to like put it down and like get to work. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyway, um, I guess the original title of this book was Edgar Rice Burroughs master of adventure. And you could find like a cool little paperback, um, of that, it will be missing um, a lot of the things that I said, like the extra introductions, the last chapter. Um, it even goes into what was found in um, Burroughs' safe after he died. Um, so all of the stuff that came out um, after his death and everything. It, it's just it's just really good. So this is a high buy. Um, five star if you like Edgar Rice Burroughs. If you don't like Edgar Rice Burroughs or don't know Edgar Rice Burroughs, I don't know how you would be able to get through this book. Like seriously, I just, I just, I have no idea. So if you like Edgar Rice Burroughs, this is like freaking honey. You know what I'm saying? So, um, get it.